Well, it's been a very interesting time. The island has pulled together so well all these months. We had a very bad winter. There was a lot of poor weather, so our economic livelihoods were very badly hit by the weather and by breakdowns in Kalmak. And now they feel like everything's being shut down again by Kalmak, even though the world is opening up. If this beautiful island is going to thrive, we do need to have a reliable, resilient ferry service every day and doubled up in the summer. And unless we do that, this island is going to have serious problems economically, socially and environmentally over the next years. Well, I think that the current ferry service is going to ruin the businesses. You know, if, if we don't get more uh, ferries, more, more sailings, you know, the businesses might be allowed to open but won't be viable. It's been a really particularly tough time for many retail businesses on the island during lockdown, obviously, and I do appreciate that the health of the islanders comes first. Um, I think as restrictions are lifted, CalMac should really be doing everything possible to make sure that Aaron is not left behind. What we know of plans at the moment is very far from it and is not likely to support the businesses in the way we need. And I fear for many jobs and businesses across the island, including my own, unless CalMac can really up its game. So lockdown so far has been catastrophic for our business. Uh, our takings have been roughly 1% of what they should normally have been for the same period. So we need CalMac to bring people back onto the island as quickly as possible and in higher numbers than currently foreseen in order for us to continue trading as we have been. Well, for the community, it'll be absolutely catastrophic. You know, we rely so heavily on tourism. The numbers CalMac are suggesting they're going to do just will not help. We've got a community to support. There are hospital appointments people have to get over and back from on the same day, family to visit. And a lot of the hotels just simply will not survive without the numbers. We've just come through a really hard winter. We were just gearing up for the season and it's effectively taking us into a, another winter trading period. And my worry is a lot of businesses won't survive this and unfortunately that will mean companies having to lay off staff and just the job losses for the community will be horrific. Um, so we really do need CalMac to help us to get at least some of the summer season. Yeah, I mean, the ferry services have got to be opened up, really, because Aran is a holiday island. That's where all the money comes from. You know, people rely on it. It's a holiday island, and without tourists, Aran just isn't Aran. Uh, my, my personal view is um, that when they increase the ferry service, they should move straight on to uh, a summer service, essentially, um, running from both Ardross and Tobrodic, and particularly here from Lochranza. For them not to use uh, a vessel on La Cranza run where people can sit in the cars um, just doesn't seem a sensible decision. It defies belief that the service cannot run to Clone which it would normally do at this time of the year, and give not only island residents but other people who need to get to this island a second option. 70 people on a boat, a huge boat, right? 12 people in the little Katrina at La Cranza, 12 12 passengers and yet there are flights going over with at least 70 people on them they didn't have fresh air up on deck do you know but it is going to it, it, i can hear the death knell i can hear that bell the death knell is ringing for the tourist trade in Aran. the current capacity on the ferry is very low and to be honest it's going to be like charlie and the chocolate factory there will be golden tickets um, because there's only a, about 100 people that can travel at the moment on one sailing. So who's going to get those tickets? We can open up and do a good business. We have 16 staff here. We've been so happy that they've been furloughed and we've been able to keep them on. Um, but going forward, we need customers and we need our customers to be able to get here. And that's the only way we can open up our business again. Yesterday, I turned up to to book a return to attend Crosshouse Hospital for a, an important uh, medical arrangement. To be told that uh, 
although I had a return ticket, there was no guarantee that I would get on the boat to come home. Given the circumstances that there are no B&Bs, and to be stranded at my age and with my health issues, I left and cancelled the appointment. Yeah, I'm a trustee of Aaron Cancer Support, uh, ARCAS, the island's cancer charity. We uh, provide transport for cancer patients from the island to travel to mainland hospitals. And we're very concerned at the moment that uh, they may be able to leave the island in the morning, but there's no guarantee that after their uh, outpatient appointments on the mainland that they would get back onto the island in the afternoon. And there are no hotels open on the mainland uh, and our patients would be left in limbo. They are therefore often cancelling appointments and it is causing a lot of unnecessary stress and heartache. I think it should be within the widths of the Carl Mack and anybody else who's concerned so to arrange for islanders to be able to book a passage across and back and should have some sort of advantage over anyone else who wants to book. Um, I haven't been able to see my grandparents and it's been my grand's birthday so I've kind of missed out on that. We have one little grandchild, we haven't seen her for three months and she'll be forgetting who we are. So I would like to be able to go to the mainland, maybe have a distance little picnic with them in Erdrossen and then be able to come home. That doesn't sound like a lot to ask and I hope you can make it possible. The long-term survival of, of, of the island is, you know, without overstating it, is essentially at risk and we, we need urgent, high-level intervention uh, in this problem to, to make headway. So politicians, particularly uh, the transport department of the Scottish Government, get your hats on with the MSPs and get the ferry services operating well for all the islands. Remember, we are part of Scotland and not something cast adrift.